Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to take a quick look through uh, the recent Leaky Deaky LS Squeakies. Uh, these are a little bit different. We're going to go over this again. I've, done, I've gone over this multiple times here. When something's more than a month out from release, you can almost certainly assume that it was stolen from the print facility, transit, storage, probably not even the distributor at that point. Where we have the the Ultra Premium Collection, the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, now finding its way into videos, as we'll see, into passenger seats. Uh, this is this is a little different. This is uh, I've, not quite as bad. Still bad for the the people involved that have these and that are opening them this early. If you have something the week of, probably not that big of a deal. When it's out a few weeks, there could be some repercussions for that and, and mostly going to be on the end of whoever is the seller, the end seller, whether that's a store, an online store, uh, whatever that account, that distributor account is, um, you're probably in trouble there, probably in trouble on the distributor level if you're sending stuff out uh, three weeks beforehand. That's, uh, that's definitely a no-no. You'll notice that uh, most of the distributors... Uh, most of the accounts that are buying from distributors get products the week of release, and that's probably largely to do with the distributor doesn't want people sending stuff out early, selling stuff early, opening stuff early, earlier than that. And with normal sets, you have a pre-release date that's kind of like a little buffer zone that, yes, you can get your hands on the product. If there's leftover from events, from pre-release events, that can be opened without issue. Usually, if it's the week of you see people opening it early. There's not the, there's not a whole lot they can do at that point because there's so many people doing it that it's very unlikely that anyone's going to get um, more than more than maybe even like a slap on the wrist. So this is a chain of events. It's going to come down to the Pokemon Company. Distributors are going to be in trouble with the Pokemon Company if they send stuff out too early. If stuff gets stolen, they do not want to lose their account. If you're a distributor and you're selling Pokemon, you definitely don't want to lose the, the Pokemon revenue. That is, it, it's huge. Even if you're doing sports cards, even if you're doing all the other trading card games, if you have Magic, if you have all that other stuff, Pokemon's a big deal. You don't, you don't want to get, uh, you don't want to get cut off by Daddy Pokemon. Certainly not. So, first thing <clears throat> we saw in a previous video, we have this Charizard VMAX promo. Uh, one of the promos from the Ultra Premium Collection that were leaked and sold on eBay. Uh, the the currency that's on screen here, uh, ignore that. It's uh, just, it depends on what uh, what you're browsing, where you're browsing from, your browsing settings. So the person that took this individual screenshot, shout out to you, uh, it's, uh, it's on here again. We're looking back at that. So that's the, the first thing that popped up. Second thing, never really had enough information on this to really necessarily make a video on it, but we, we had somebody selling an empty box. Like, how ridiculous do we have to get that we're selling the empty box from the, the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection for $50? Who's, who's, the, who's the client for that? I guess you can pretend that you have an Ultra Premium Collection. You can, you can wrap that bad boy with the water bottle coming in on screen, splashing myself a little bit. But, um, but yeah, $50 box. Ridiculous. I don't know why and who, whatever... I, I guess it's a, a $50 flex. Um, how or why this is just an empty box and they weren't selling the other components. I don't know. Maybe they wanted to keep the other components. Maybe they were sending them off for grading. Who knows? We got a 15 feedback eBay score here. Um, pretty new account. We can take a look at that real quick. Um, yeah, we got sneakers. We got clothing. So it's weird. It's weird. They got the trick or trade. Typical Pokemon Walmart flipper. Uh, we got we got sneakers, of course. The sneaker the sneaker people love early stuff. So if you don't know, if you're not familiar with it, I'm not into it. The sneakers are you know not my thing. Uh, but sneaker people they all want to be the first person to like have stuff to release images of things. That's just not how it works in the world of trading cards. It's it's not the same. So today, and thank you very much. Uh, to the individual that tagged me on this. I think we got in the uh, notifications here. We have Matt Thomas. 
Um, very, very cool. We got somebody with uh, with a few of these on the, the passenger seat. So it looks like someone's selling these early. A game store, I got them this early probably. I'm not totally sure. Uh, were they sweating uh, w with the thought of picking these up and they, they needed a towel? Um, I think someone down below made a joke about how uh, they uh, <laughs> they might have had to do, they, they probably had to do something real sketchy to someone in the passenger seat uh, and need the, needed the towel for that reason. A little little HJ for a <laughs> for a UPC. Um, but yeah, this is um, the the looming threat here is on the, the whoever's selling these. At this point, they're probably not stolen. They're probably just breaking street, like heavily, heavily breaking street date. And uh, yeah, so the store is putting themselves at risk, whoever's selling these, distributor as well, if they're not stolen. Like, there's a pretty good chance they're not stolen. There's always that slight chance. We don't know exactly. These pictures are just kind of circulating. Um, and then there's always the slightest chance that stores just put them on shelves early. We've seen that recently with those, uh, those promo blister packs where they were oopsie doopsie put on the shelf. Uh, by the the company that stocks the the big box stores, so I don't think that's the case. But I'm gonna say it's most likely just a, a game store and a distributor. A distributor that sent way too early, a game store that sold them before street date and might get in trouble for it. That's uh, kind of what we're looking at here. I think the hype on this stuff is just is way overblown. We need to we need to take a step back here. It's three promo cards. That's pretty much it. Three promo cards and a bunch of packs. It's expensive. Uh, the promo cards, I don't. If those are really what you're after, I don't think you have to be too concerned. I don't think they're going to be that expensive. If somebody can get these at a decent price, and they take the packs out and they sell the promos, or they're just looking for tens or something like that. Uh, and I think there's an, there, there's another thing here. There was a. Uh, uh, some <laughs> people are freaking out because they have the three promos in one in one little sleevey DV cereal wrap. Uh, I think I would be more concerned with how the uh, the cards are cut at the factory more so than the fact that they're in the clear cellophane here. Apparently, they think that they're going to rub together. Uh, maybe they need to watch that video of the how the Pokemon cards are made and how you know badly they're they're spanked around the factory before they get sent out, but. Uh, this is basically the the biggest news and information we received from this. Was it worth it? This kind of stuff is, and the source of this is extremely short sighted. So, like, you're a fairly large creator. You sell this stuff, and you're showing it on stream, and you're opening it. Not 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 good. Not, just not good. All around, not good. Is it? It's going to get you attention now, sure. But does it ruin your account? Uh, does the distributor cut you off because they get pressure from Pokemon? Probably. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Um, I would assume that's where they came from. Uh, this individual that streams on Twitch uh, was very happy to show this stuff off. Um, we have, I've searched YouTube globally and haven't found any openings for the new Charizard Ultra Premium. So this might be, this is trans, Google translation. So bear with me if there's some some inconsistencies with the actual one. If you can speak Spanish, go ahead and read that. Unfortunately, I cannot. Please, if anyone has seen any, comment with the link. Otherwise, I will be the first to make a live opening and tomorrow I will upload the video to YouTube. So... YouTube video, uh, you get some eyes on your on your stuff, uh, but at the same time, I think this is this is short sighted, especially for this individual. Um, you, you got a hundred thousand subscribers, you're doing good, you're doing good. Um, but most importantly, before we we'll, we'll scroll through here a little bit and see what's going on, um, it's the exact content, so there's not really any surprises there for you guys. But uh, when you, when you have your own store. Um, and you're selling the actual product itself, chances are you just got it too early from from your distributor. And now you're showing off. Do you get in trouble? Does it cost you? Maybe you can buy from another distributor. Maybe uh, they cut you off altogether. But it's uh, uh, probably not worth it in the end. I don't know exactly uh, how this is going to work out, but that's kind of how I see it. 
not as bad as, you know, th this is kind of burning your own bridges um, without that extra step of the stolen, stolen goods. At least it's probably not stolen. We can't confirm, I haven't confirmed that, that it's not the stolen stuff. But I would say that where you have a store here, you probably got it early and you're probably just opening and, and selling it too early. That's what it comes down to. So burning burning your own bridges is what it, what it is here. Uh, at least not as bad as encouraging theft, uh, which is a much more serious, um, I mean, if it could hurt, hurt financially if you're no longer allowed to purchase through the distributor that you use. Uh, that you're selling through your website, if that's a if that's a main source of his income, um, it's kind of a kind of a bad thing. So we had the opening here. We'll we'll scrub through. So he, he I guess he's showing us the prices on uh, StockX. For the love of God, do not buy stuff on StockX. It's painfully overpriced. We were on there the other uh, the other night in happy hour Discord voice chat. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. If you're around on Saturday nights, hop on in. We're hanging out. Um, but yeah, we were looking at StockX and oh my God, the prices are bad. They are like, if you want to be, if, if you want to be a hype dog and I guess for some reason you need to have sneakers, Yeezys in your cart along with your, uh, your Pokemon cards, maybe that's the place for you. Um, but yeah, look, it's just, it's normal packs. It's exactly what we thought. It's the, the promos We can kind of scrub through here. Um, that's the three, the, you're pretty much buying it for the three promos. You get a bunch of packs too, but we already, we already knew this stuff. It's pretty much not telling us anything. So here, of course, we got, we're the hype dogs here. We're hype dog in 69. We got to make sure we have, uh, all the sports cards to, to open as well. We got the Dragon Ball stuff in the background. I always kind of wonder, like, I liked Dragon Ball as a kid, but I feel like all the, the Pokemon collectors that have heavily like Dragon Ball stuff in their background are more into Dragon Ball and probably would do Dragon Ball if it was as popular, like the Dragon Ball Super stuff. Um, I also don't totally get. Shout out to to Matt from the Discord. Uh, he has like one of those life size Deadpool mannequins. Uh, here we got a we got a Goku in the background. I don't I don't get that. There's there's just there's something something off putting about having a uh, a full size muscular man life size in your in your room um that is just it's not for me but you know what if that if that floats your boat uh by all means as long as it's as long, <laughs> as long as that's what you want um but uh but that's about it yeah we got we got some expensive we got some signature soccer soccer stuff i thought do they really say soccer on there instead of instead of football is that offensive all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. That's pretty much it. If, uh, if there's more details, I'll be sure to follow up. If you have any additional details on any of the stuff that we covered in this video, please let me know what you have. Also, the uh, the last Sword and Shield set leaks that came out, if anyone has additional information on that, please reach out. Um, I'm looking into that. Um, it's kind of a non-story at the time being. It looks like somebody was taking some uh, photos from the factory. I'm assuming that was at uh, Millennium, but it... You know, it might be another location. We had uh, we had some recent information where they were destroying uh, the 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 scraps, the Pokemon scraps, uh, in Belgium. So I don't know, would the U.S. ship their scraps all the way over to Belgium just for them to get destroyed? I don't. I really don't know. I'm confused. So if you guys know, let me know. Um, I'm assuming that Millennium prints the German stuff, so that's probably where the uh, the very sucky photos came from um uh, there was just somebody at work taking taking some pictures and that, that that's remember guys that's the danger zone that's what happened with the sword and shield guidebook leaks um somebody was just taking photos and uh and yeah suey dewey McLewy, the two people that were that were taking and sharing those photos got the old one hundred and fifty thousand dollar lawsuit of bang a from uh the pokemon company so careful be careful, guys. See you next time. Join the Discord. Bye.